Good morning, dear children. Nice to have you back again. So, this week also we're going to do division but Problems on division. Okay? So let's start a few simple ones. Mental ones, right? So you have 60 sweets and you want to divide them among 10 friends. How many will each get? Hmm? Six? Good. Some of you are quick. Let's try another one. Someone had 45 marbles and he wanted to distribute among five persons. So 45 divided by 5 equals very good. 9. So those are the types of sums we are going to do. But when we do problems, we have to write the statements. Okay? We write the statements on top and do the working out here. Is that clear? And whatever answers we get can be written at the bottom. So can we start? Good. So the first problem. Pranit has 1134 photographs to put in an album. Photograph album. Okay? He he can put nine photographs on each page. So we have to find what? How many pages can she fill? Okay, we have to find how many pages will be needed to fill 1134 photographs. So let's write the statements. So first statement from this we can make. Okay? So we can write number of photographs. How much? Or how many? 1134. Now for the second statement. How many photographs can it be? Can you put in one page? How many? One or nine? Nine. Okay. Number of photographs you can put. Number of photographs on one page. How many? Nine. Now, this one, we will write it here. We'll write it after we do the working out. So, are you ready? Okay. So, we write the sum. Let's use a different chalk because you will get mixed up. Ready? So 1134 divided by 9. 9 goes into 11. Good. 9 ones are 9. What should you do? Top number smaller. Borrow. 11 minus 9. 2. Bring down. 3. Now we've got 23. 9 goes into 23 on the 10th. 9. 1's are 9, 9 2's are 18, 9 3's are 27. Okay? So, which number can you go? Can you put 27? No, 27 is a bigger number. Can you put 9? 9 is very small. So the right number to put is 18. 9 2's are 18. 3 minus 8, can you subtract? No, you have to borrow. 30 minus 8, 5. Bring down 4. So 9 goes into 54 how many times? Let's do it there. 27, 4. 36, 5. 45, 6. 54. 54, 54. So we don't have to go above that number. So 9, 6, 54. Now, after doing this sum, you can read what the question says. How many pages can she fill? So, she can fill how many pages? Nine pages? No. One hundred and six pages? Yes. So, I will have space here. Instead of writing uh, below the sub, I will write it at the side. But when you do it at home, make sure that you write it below the sub. So, therefore, 
she fills how many pages? 126 pages. It is the same type of division, okay? It's just that you have to write the statements. Number of photographs, number of photographs on one page. This is not number 11, okay? This is whatever you can talk should be there also. So let's try another sum. I hope you understood. So I need about one minute to finish writing the sum. So let me take my paper. A gardener. A Mali. A gardener plants to plant. 4,623 trees. Okay? Trees in 23 rows. A gardener plans to plant 4,623 trees in 23 rows. And each row has to contain the same amount of trees. So I'm not going to write that. So next we have to find how many trees will there be in each row. So this is what we have to find. So a gardener, he wants to plant 4,623 trees. Okay? And he has made 23 rows. And now he has to divide as to how many trees he can grow in one row. So let's write the sum. First statement. Number of trees. How many? Four thousand six hundred twenty three. Next number of rows. Number of rows. How many? Twenty-three. Now we have written the sum. Now we must work it out. Okay? This work now can be done in the rough order and then we can only write the answer. But I think this is a better way. Okay? Write the statement. Below the statement, write the sum. 4623 divided by 20. Remember the trick the last time I taught you. Take this first number, take this first number. Two goes to four how many times? Two. Very good. But come down one number. Twenty-three. Ones are twenty-three. This four name say we we'll do twenty-three. Two is are two three is are six, two two is are four. Forty-six. Okay? We you know it. Twenty-three. Ones are twenty-three. And 23 to the 46. So did we get an answer? Yes. When you find the same number here, you don't have to multiply more. 23 to the 46. 6 minus 6, 0. 4 minus 4, 0. Bring down 2. 23 goes into 200 times. Good. It doesn't go. So 23 zeros are 0. Then bring down 3. 23. Very good. 1 is 23. 0, 0. So now let's read the last part of the question. What the question is. How many trees will there be in each row? So we have found our answer. How many trees will be there in each row? 
five. But let's try with two times. Two twos are four, two fives are ten. Okay, how many are four? Can we put up with four? No. So we take only the first two digits. Fifty-two, one da, fifty-two. Four minus two, two. Six minus five, one. Bring down five. How much do we have here? Very good. We have one hundred and twenty-five. Now look at this first digit. Look at this first. It's smaller, so we must take two digits. I hope you are using that trick. Twelve. So five goes to twelve out of ten. Two times. We already got our answer there, but let's be sure. So how many times are we supposed to hear? Good. Three times. Three to the six. Three five to the fifteen. Can we put one hundred fifty-six? It's too big now. So we have to go back to number two. Fifty-two. Two is a one hundred and four. Five four one two zero. Have you finished the sum? No. We must bring down eight. How much do we have here? Two hundred and eighty. Now let's look at this first number in five. Two is smaller, so we must take two digits. Twenty one. Okay. Five goes to twenty one. How many times? Four times. So let's do it by four times. Fifty two four. Four two is eight. Four five is twenty. Very good. We got the answer straight away. But to make to be sure, let's do one more number higher than four five. Five two is ten. Five twenty five twenty six. Okay. So we got how much? Two hundred and sixty. Can we put it? Mm -hmm. So twenty-two times a two hundred and eight zero one zero. Now we must read the question. What does the question say? How many are left over? One hundred and twenty-five. No, left over means what is the remainder? Okay, the remainder. So. We have to write this answer, not the number given on top. So how many are left over? Therefore, ten what marbles are left? Okay. So I hope you have understood. If you haven't understood, go back. Okay, and try and again look at the sums. How to make statements? How to write the answer? Remember, I don't have space here, so I'm writing the answer here. This must be done here. Later on, you will be getting your self-assessment test. So first, copy all the numbers onto your exercise book. Do all the sums there, and then after you finish doing all five sums, go to the test paper, and whatever answer you get, tick that. Okay, so keep learning, keep learning your table also and other subjects also. That's it. So later on, when we meet, when we come back to school, teachers can correct your exercise books. So see you. Smile, be safe, and stay safe. Bye bye.